Hello everyone, this is John, back again with another review um, of a new fast food item. This fast food item has been slowly rolled out across the United States, and this is from Burger King. I got it delivered, and you can see the, the stickers. I really like them putting the stickers over the bag to seal it up when there's deliveries like that. Um, I know McDonald's and Burger King have done it. It's just a little, a little uh, reassurance that no one's been in your bag digging around messing with stuff. Anyway, back to the point. This video is about a new item at Burger King. It is another chicken sandwich. Every place is doing it. Some places have done it two or three times already. But Burger King now has the hand-breaded chicken sandwich. I don't think they've ever done a hand-breaded chicken sandwich before. Um, everything I think has just been pre-frozen or pre-packaged and cooked on site. Whereas this one, what I'm assuming is they take thought out raw chicken, they put it in a batter, maybe there's a milk brine and dry brine, who knows what's in there, but it is hand breaded at the store. Um, that probably means it takes a little bit longer to, to make because this order for delivery uh, took over an hour to get to me total, which is weird. Uh, but you can get this uh, in basically two varieties, regular and spicy. They also offer a lettuce and tomato option, but I don't really consider that too different. Uh, the regular ones are $6.03 for uh, have them delivered anyway. might be different if you actually purchase them at the store. But $6.03, doesn't matter if you get the regular or the spicy, it comes with a savory sauce, and that's what it's called in the, in the menu, savory sauce, and deli mm -hmm. pickles. Um, the sauce is the same as if it's spicy or not, so the, the sauce isn't what makes the spicy one spicy. Uh, the spicy one, the chicken, maybe the breading, something about the chicken patty itself is spicy. Uh, I got one of each, a regular and a spicy. Just the regular kind, not the lettuce and tomato one. Uh, I did notice that you could add light lettuce and it wouldn't charge you anything extra. Um, but if you added anything more than light lettuce or if you added any type of tomato, it would cost extra. Uh, and I think if you get the lettuce and tomato one, it's like 25, it's like a quarter added on to it. So I think it was like 628, I want to say, and 603 for these regular ones. But uh, they didn't really, let's see, did they mark which one was which? Yes, this one they marked spicy. Let me try the regular one first. Looks pretty, pretty good actually. Here you go. That looks like an actual big piece of chicken. Like it's like coming out of the bun. And the pickles, or these deli pickles, they're thicker, crinkle cut. I asked for a heavy pickle on mine because I like pickles. We're gonna take a bite right here from this crispy tongue sticking out. Let's see if we can hear crunch. Even though this is the regular one, not the spicy one, there is some spice to it. So, there's actually a good, well seasoned breading on here. It's not the loudest crunch that I've gotten from a chicken sandwich, but I'm very impressed. It tastes like fried chicken, like from a fried chicken place. savory sauce 
It just tastes like a seasoned mayo. Mm. This is actually pretty tasty. Here's the advantage of a, the hand breaded chicken. You get these like almost like a if you've had a smash burger where it's like it gets so smashed on the edge that it kind of thins out into nothing. And you get this lacy crispiness. And that's what you get here. Just look at the edges on that. This tastes really good. It's pretty dang crispy. For a place that's the home of the Whopper, this is a chicken sandwich that is competitive. I'm not going to say if it's better than any other place right now because it's that idea is still swimming around in my head. I wasn't ready, I wasn't expecting to be this impressed. Let's try the spicy one. Okay. Here is the one that has the spicy marked. Visually wise, it doesn't look, the color doesn't look very different. On the website, it kind of looked red though. Let's give it a taste. They mislabeled these. This is the regular one. That's the spicy one. Remember when I was like, this is got some spice to it, even though it's regular. Well, that was the spicy one. What do you think on this right here? Are they marking classic or are they marking spicy classic? I mean, the only circle that's actually being intersected is a spicy classic one. You know what? I get just a piece of the chicken here. Is this better than their regular chicken sandwich? Yeah, but after going from the spicy one to this one, which is like why you should label these correctly, because if this one did have some spice to it, it's now being overshadowed by the spice that's already in my mouth. Let me see if I can clear some out. I'm just going to reset and try it again. Because the seasoning on the regular one just, it seemed kind of bland at first, but hopefully after getting some of the spice out of my mouth, I can get some more flavor. This is so weird. 
when I was eating the spicy one, I was having a mental debate. Is this better than Chick-fil-A? Is this better than Popeye's? Is it better than the KFC chicken sandwich? Then when I went to the, the classic non-spicy one, it's not. It's definitely not. Is it better than the other Burger King chicken sandwiches? Yes. But the, the hand-breaded regular chicken sandwich from Burger King, it's not good enough to compete with those. The spicy hand-breaded chicken sandwich? I wouldn't even say this is spicy as much as it's just seasoned. The regular hand-breaded kind of has a muted flavor. You taste, I know, I could put heavy pickle on both of these. I know this. But the pickle has more flavor than the chicken. The spicy one, though, same amount of pickles. But that spice, that seasoning, it punches through. And what I taste is seasoned chicken. It tastes like a spicy fried chicken, maybe. Or even a regular fried chicken from a place that just really seasons their chicken well. So here is how this is going to end. The regular one, let me take just one more bite of this because maybe I'm wrong. Let's try a different side or something. It's fine. It's not bad, but if you're paying for a premium sandwich, if you want to go to a fast food place, I want for burgers, and get the best chicken sandwich that you can, or the spicy one. It's not overly spicy. Don't worry about uh, blowing snot, sweating, uh, burning your mouth. It's not that kind of spicy. It should just be called the well-seasoned chicken sandwich. I'm going to give the original uh, hand-breaded chicken sandwich from Burger King. It's not bad. It's like a 7-1 out of 10. But 7-1s aren't going to be in your top chicken sandwiches. Not anymore. Not with every place doing newer chicken sandwiches all the time. But you save it with the spicy chicken sandwich. The hand-breaded spicy chicken sandwich from Burger King, I'm going to give this an 8.9 out of 10. It, uh, it's, it's definitely made the list. Those top-tier chicken sandwiches, the spicy hand-breaded from Burger King, congratulations, you're part of them now. And with that, please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. So long. Bye.